All right, all, and welcome back to a new video. In the day one preview of the Aintree Grand National Festival, I'm going to be doing really quick fire, snappy videos for Witch Bookie this week, a little bit like the ones for Cheltenham. And fingers crossed, we have a little bit of luck and no time like the present to get stuck into it tomorrow. Starting off with the manifesto novices chasing the Grade One juvenile hurdle. There are races that I wouldn't be having a strong bet in myself if you were to pin me for a selection. It'd be Warlord in the manifesto and Pied Piper in the juvenile. But that being said as I say I just don't think there's there are good enough prices and strong enough fancies to be putting up as my main selections and my main selections will be over on that witch bookie website I've put up five for the day and the first one comes in the Betway boat itself a Kenboy at five to one each way I think he's a very good price actually I think he's going to run a big race here for Paul uh, for Paul Townend and Willie Mullins uh, I think he could get loose on the front end here he won very impressively back in 2019 he's been patchy recently but hopefully he runs well in the entry hurdle no strong bet quite like Mon Morale in this race uh, but maybe looking for a three place marker or maybe without one of the favourites or both of the favourites markers because I think he could well outrun uh, his price and outrun uh, the way he ran at Fontwell last time I think he might be able to turn the form around with brewing up a storm. I've two for the Topham Chase uh, last year's Cheltenham Fox Hunters winner Porlock Bay being one of them he's currently 15-2 to two now I put him up at 11-2 to two earlier uh, today but uh, he's drifted out a little bit I think 15-2 to two is a very generous price with Paddy Parr five places each way and you can get 11 to 1 on cousin pascal last year's winner of this race at 11 to 1 these intermediate trips seem to be the making of him so fingers crossed he can run well the red rum handicap chase i quite like sky pirate at a big price fingers crossed the rain doesn't uh, have a big influence overnight and into tomorrow morning if the ground stays the way it's being advertised at the moment i think he's got a big chance he's 18 to 1 with paddy power with plenty of places available as well he should take a bit of stopping actually off a pound higher than when he won the Grand Annual and I thought he would have ran well in this year's Grand Annual but the ground and the rain went against him so fingers crossed that doesn't happen again and the final race the graded mare's bumper I quite like Lorna Fowler's horse in this naughty Ness as you can currently get 11 to 2 with Paddy Power that would be an each way bet for me five places available uh, for this competitive mare's bumper I know there's the likes of Rosie Red Drum and Astro Diamond in there that have good form but as does naughty Ness and she's got a bit of an unexposed profile for a trainer that does very well with bumper horses anyway Anyway, I hope you guys have a very good day one. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do uh, like the video and subscribe to the Witch Bookie channel down below if you have enjoyed it. And I'll see you back tomorrow for the day two action. But between then and now, hope you stay safe, stay well, and a few bets. I'll see you guys then.